and I'm here today to talk to you about how I use candlesticks and candlestick patterns in my trading. Now, first I want to mention to you, and you're probably aware of this, there are a lot of candlesticks and candlestick patterns that are out there. What I'm going to do uh, for this uh, lesson here is concentrate on the patterns that I find myself using the most often because they indicate the potential for a change in direction uh, in the way the pair is moving. And these candles are, and after we run through them, I'm going to, you know, interpret for you what they mean and how I use them. There's the doji candlestick. There's the three candle pattern. In this case, this is an evening star. Uh, there's a th another three candle pattern. This pattern represents a morning star. Evening star meaning the pair is likely to move down. Morning star meaning the pair is likely to move up. Here's a shooting star candlestick. Here's a hammer candlestick. Shooting star indicates the pair is likely to reverse to the downside. Hammer indicates it's likely to reverse to the upside. This is a bearish engulfing candle, the red one. Uh, the downside candle completely engulfing the green candle, indicating a move to the downside, potential move to the downside. And then we have a bullish engulfing candlestick pattern, indicating a potential move to the upside. Now, what I want to emphasize here to a degree is we want to make sure that before we base a trade on a candle, we want to make sure that that candle is closed. And by that I mean, let's say if you're looking at a, a certain candle on, let's say, an hour chart. Let's say we're looking at this doji on an hourly chart. And we're 30 minutes into the hour. And that candle looks just like that. It looks like a doji. A trader can't say, ah, there's a doji candlestick there. I'm going to base my trade on that. Because 30 minutes from now, when that chart closes, that doji that looks like a doji right now might not be a doji 30 minutes from now based on price action. So we can't declare something a doji or a shooting star or something along those lines until it actually closes as that particular pattern. We don't want to you know, base our trades on erroneous candle patterns. Now, the way I use these in trading is, let's say, for example, I'm looking at a level of resistance. And I see this evening star candlestick pattern forming right below or right around this level of resistance. What this tells me is that the pair has pushed up, buyers have pushed the price up, They've tried to push it up a little bit more, but they weren't as successful because this is a shorter candle. And then the third candle in the pattern, once that closes, it's a strong move to the downside. Now that indicates to me that the buyers have kind of lost control here. They haven't been able to push the price up enough, and they've kind of given way to the sellers at this point. So in this situation, after the close of this third candle, a trader could go short and place their stop just above the highest wick here in this third candle. And the same thing would be true here if I see this level of support right where my marker is, my level of support right here, and the pattern is forming around that level of support. Again, sellers have pushed the price down. They pushed it down a little bit more. They weren't able to sustain that, and the pair has now moved to the upside. So at the close of this third candle, I'd be able to go long, and I would put my stop right about there. In this situation with a shooting star, if this appears at the top, of a move to the upside, the shooting star, uh, at the close of this candle, I can take a short position and place my stop right above it. Long wicks, which I'm going to get into in a little more detail in a bit, uh, are very good for determining where we can place our stops in the trade. And this is a hammer candle, and if this appears at the bottom of a move to the downside, this is going to show kind of the reverse of what we saw in the shooting star, that sellers have been pushing the price down and down but they got it down this to this level, but they couldn't maintain it, and buyers you know, pushed it back up to this point. The indication here is that price potentially will move to the upside, and the stock can be placed below the lowest extremity of that wick. And then the uh, bearish engulfing and the bullish engulfing candles. Here we have a, a bearish engulfing candle. Uh, if this appears, let's say, at the top of a move or uh, an upside move, and we also have a resistance level up here at the top, uh, and we get this bearish engulfing candle, which completely engulfs, hence the name, the, uh, the green bullish candle. The idea here is that a move, a move to the downside will ensue. So we want to wait until this candle closes, then we can go, okay, we've got our bearish engulfing formation, and then we can place our stop right above. The reverse would be true for the bullish engulfing. Let's say we're at the bottom of a downtrend, and we see this form where we've got a bullish engulfing candle uh, right next to a uh, bearish candle here, this indicates that the price is going to be moving to the upside, again, potentially, nothing's guaranteed, and our stop could go 
right below there. So like I've mentioned to you, as far as stop placement goes, uh, candlesticks and their wicks are very significant as to how we can use them and how we can employ them. Uh, what I want to mention here too, because I, I bring the trend, what is the direction of the daily trend into my trading all the time. And if I can get a signal from a candle or a candlestick pattern that encourages me to take a trade in the direction of the trend, that's going to be good. I'm looking for that because that's going to be a higher probability trade, a higher probability entry. Here's what I mean by that. Let's say the daily trend is to the upside and the pair is moving up and then we get a pullback to a support level here. And as the candles are forming and as price is moving right around in this retracement area here, what I'm looking for is something from up in this array of candles up here that's going to be indicating a bullish reversal is likely to take place at this point. So I'd be looking for, for example, let's say maybe a morning star pattern to be forming along this line. I'd be looking for a bullish engulfing pattern to be forming along that line. I might also be looking for a couple of dojis to be forming along that line. And then I know where I'm going to place my stop. It's going to be below the lowest wick penetrating there. And then once that uh, bullish candlestick pattern occurs, then I'm going to get long and hopefully the pair will move to the upside after that occurs. Now the opposite would be in a downtrend, here the pair is moving down, we get a retracement to a support level, and now along this line right here, I'm looking for bearish reversal candlesticks that are going to give me an indication when the pair is ready to move back to the downside. And that could be some dojis that are forming along there, uh, that could be an evening star pattern that's forming along there, or a bearish engulfing pattern that's forming along that line. And uh, that, that would be what I'd be looking for in that type of a scenario. Now, I mentioned long wicks a little bit earlier. Oftentimes, you might see, you know, in an uptrend uh, where you get a series of candles that have very long wicks relative to the wicks on the other candles in that particular part of the chart. When you get a long wick like that, think of how we were describing the shooting star up here. Buyers push the price up to this level. Buyers push the price up to that level, but they could not sustain it at that point. So the indication here is when you get long wicks on the upper side of the candle bodies, that's an indication that the pair could potentially move to the downside. Where do I place my stop? Just above the top of the tallest wick. And the opposite would be true in a situation if I had long wicks below the bodies, that's an indication that the pair is going to move to the upside and I can place my stop below those wicks that were uh, down below the bodies of the candles. Okay. I hope uh, that was uh, helpful to you as far as how, you, how I use candlesticks and candlestick patterns in my trading. And it was good to be uh, here with you today, and I hope you found this uh, beneficial. Good luck in your trading.